uh, Amir, why did you select Virgil Hunter as your new trainer? I like Virgil Hunter, you know, because he's been training fighters um, in a defensive and offensive way. He's made, he makes them think about what they have to do. He um, he's a smart guy. He's uh, he knows what what a fight needs to do to win and to use his brains. I think he can bring the best out of me. That's why I I, I got with him and. Freddie Roach is a great trainer, but um, I think Freddie is more about offense, not defense. Was it a, a short list of trainers you picked from, or did you consider any other trainers? Yeah, we had phone calls from all different kinds of trainers, from the Mayweathers to other trainers, and I picked Virgil Hunter because I thought there's something about him I like. Also, the way Andre Ward's come on, he's a great fighter, so that's the reason we stuck with Ward. I mean, uh, uh, Virgil Hunter, who trains Ward. But we did have calls from England, a lot of trainers from England, and also America. Big names, but I chose um, Ward's trainer. So, what type of changes can the fans expect when you box on the 15th of December? Using my brain, not fighting with my heart too much. I mean, at times we fight with this too much. I think it's just about using this and sticking to the game plan, <clears throat> not going too crazy and try knocking someone out. You can, you don't only win fights by knocking people out in a fight. You win fights by being smart and winning point, winning by points. So if I fight, I have to win by points, I will, my, I will win by points, but at times I try going for the knockout. That's why I make a mistake. So I think it's all about going back to the basics. Do you feel that in the past you've tried to excite the fans a little bit too much in the way you've boxed? Maybe maybe exciting my fans too much and making, giving them too much entertainment. I give them entertainment because I'm fighting, but I think I try to get them too much and that's why I start making mistakes and that's why I get hurt. What type of fighter is your next opponent, Carlos Molina? Carlos Molina is a very technical fighter, you know, maybe not one of the biggest punches, but very technical and he's a great boxer. So I think it's about just being um, being smart and, and picking the right shots at the right time with him. And it's more of a boxing fight, it's about using this more skillful, you know, so it's, I think it'd be a perfect fight for me. So what type of fight can the fans expect on the 15th of December? Another explosive fight, but with, by using my brains and not making mistakes, uh, because we can still be explosive by being smart. Even though only, you're only 25, you've achieved a lot in boxing. Is there still ambition to do great things? 100%, man. That's what it's all about. Achieving the best and achieving so much in the sport of boxing. That's what I want to do. I want to achieve everything I can and walk out and be remembered as a great champion that won fights, lost fights, but come back stronger. Where would you be like to be 12 months, 18 months down the line from here? A world champion and gearing up for a super fight against someone like Floyd Mayweather or maybe Manny Pacquiao. Would you consider a fight with Ricky Harden if that could be made? Maybe it just depends if, um, if, the, if, 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 if it makes sense to have that fight. You know, uh, Rick is a world champion, I'm a world champion, and there's no other way to go, and we have to take the fight, then maybe. But Rick is a good friend of mine, so, yeah. What do you think of the standard of the box in the Olympic Games this year? I think it wasn't as tough as it was when I was in Olympics in 2004 or the 2000 Olympics, but uh, overall, England did brilliant. That's what we all about. I mean, Great Britain as a whole did brilliant. Sorry, it was, and also Ireland did amazingly. I've set my promotion company, so I'm in talks with a lot of these amateurs who had won and turned professional. We've already got one, the silver medalist from Ireland, John John Evans. So, I mean, they're good fighters, and I think that boxing in amateurs is improving. What advice would you give to any of these young amateurs who are looking to turn a professional? Sign up with Amir Khan, promo Amir Khan Promotions, and sign up with my fight. Uh, super fight promotions. I mean, look, I can advise young fighters the right way. I mean, don't get me wrong, other, other promoters will also, but because I've been there, I've done it, I want to not only make them good boxers or world champions, I want to make them a superstar at the same time. So let's just see what happens. But the advice I can give them is work hard, trust the right people, keep your family very close to you.